Hello lovelies, how are we all? Um, just coming on with a little follow-up of our um, card reading that we did this Monday, okay? We had, we normally do a card reading on Monday, okay? Normally write it out, post it on social media. So I'm going to be doing it kind of on here too, um, for those that don't follow me on social media. Right, okay. We picked today, we picked Moldavite, okay? Beautiful stone, okay? And we picked Thunder, okay? Don't know whether you can see them. I know they're back to front, the writing's back to front, okay? But they are beautiful cards and together they are really, really powerful cards. They both come with a huge impact, okay? They are stones of movement, shifting, shaking, a bit like the Tower card in the Tarot, okay? Um, it's a real push for change, okay? It's gonna happen whether we like it or not with these two cards together, okay? Uh, don't obviously, don't pull um, kind of movement cards like this together very often, okay? They're really, really powerful, potent cards, okay? So we'll talk about the Moldavite first. Okay, Moldavite is beautiful, okay? I'll keep the card up for a little bit here. You can see it's, it's all about the beautiful foresty green. This is a piece of Moldavite, very expensive, okay? Um, it's a tektite. It's a, like a foresty green, sagey color, okay? If you can see that. This is just a tiny, tiny little piece. I know it's out of focus, but you can see it. Okay, it's quite dull, polished, it's beautiful. It can look quite gemmy, okay? We've got lots of little tiny bits. These are gonna go on sale and they, uh, next week we've got lots of little tiny beautiful little chips gorgeous in jewelry rings necklaces wrapped in silver or gold these are gorgeous or to pop in a little pouch um you only need a tiny bit of this it packs a punch okay um it was discovered millions of years ago okay at the time of a great crash a great kind of collision with earth um it's a stone of whoops transformation i need to get this all sorted out don't i we don't want any slippings of this camera thingy malarkey i'm not very good at this i need to sort this out big time right okay so yeah moldavite um physical sensations as well it can give you kind of tingling um, dizziness a little bit of headache it's quite a powerful stone unblocks it unblocks all the chakras links all the chakras together um it's a really 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 powerful stone okay but it's beautiful okay if you can stand the power of this stone <laughs> it's really powerful yeah um pulsing i mean when i hold my piece um and i meditate with it great for meditation why wow, it really is amazing for meditation it can take you off it really will kind of galactic um off planet beautiful meditations um it's classed as a meteorite so it's kind of off planet anyway really so it will take you there um it will disassemble anything in your energy field that is not required any unwanted energies um any any trauma any grief anything you've stored within your energy fields all of them okay because there's many okay um and with it being a storm element card it really will give you a, a big kind of move to shift into new into the new it'll take you on other worldly journeys um it'll change worn out outgrown and outworn programs paradigms um, it's a stone of movement and it's an empowering stone but it will shift you into changes shift you into new positions it will assist you in self-growth okay um, it will really um, change your perceptions of yourself and who you think you are it will change perceptions of your um um, you know, it will shake your core beliefs, literally shake your core beliefs. It'll pull the rug from underneath your feet and push you to change. It's a stone of, um, yeah, truth, okay? Really amazing stone of truth and transformation. So this is a really good card to come out, especially for now. It's a great card for now, okay? Then we pull Thunder, okay? Now, Thunder is amazing. I love this card. This is another another card that incorporates all the elements okay um and it acts like a lightning strike another card that represents the energy of the tower okay this is going to move you okay um it will awaken us to new the new okay and sometimes quite abruptly but necessarily it will give you a push and a kick okay into change um with these two cards together there's really no holding back it, things are going to change um, whether we like it or not. So we might as well kind of step up and move into position and do the work and 
uh, assist these changes, okay, from a loving perspective of ourselves, whether it's ourselves we need to change, everything starts with us anyway. If we can see the beauty within ourselves, um, that represents our life, okay? Um, we have to integrate everything, don't we? The, the lovely bits, the ugly bits, the beautiful bits, the bits we love, the shadow side, we have to integrate everything and love everything. And then that will you know, ricochet out, ripple out, domino effect out into our world. Uh, and that will mirror back some beautiful things. But we have to do a lot of work at the moment. So these cards are coming in to assist that push, okay? Don't be scared. You are surrounded by angels, your guides, your guardians at every step of this, okay? This is a great awakening. Um, you will be assisted. You are not on your own. You are never, ever on your own. Don't ever think that, okay? Even if you're in isolation on your own at the moment, okay? You can call in your beautiful angels. Um, you know, they, we have free will. So if you need help from these lovely energies, ask and ask that the highest divine Christ light um, be drawn through you and feel that power and that love and that connection with your higher source, your higher self. Um, and you will ground this beautiful, loving, higher self through into your life, okay? And ask for assistance to take you forward through the changes, okay? Ask for assistance to, um, for comfort, for, for love and support as things are quite difficult at the moment. Okay, so you can ask for help uh, through changes. Um, and we need to believe we can change as well in, um, in loving ways. Um, sorry, my chair's running away here. Okay, we need to believe that it's easy to change. If you need to change anything, okay, we do have to love everything as it is. But if there's something that is kind of laying dormant within our energy fields, our thought processes, thought, feelings of unworthiness, guilt, uh, fear, anger, anything like that that you want to change, sit with that feeling, okay? Find out where it's come from. Um, quite often it's the first year, before the first year of your life. The first year of your life is such an important time, okay? This is how we learn how to be in the world. So to take yourself back to this time is really, really difficult. Um, but try if you can and just understand, understand why you have learned these programs, why these programs have followed through your life. It can take one instance, even if it's at school, somebody kind of like just turning you down. Um, school can be, school and school kids can be pretty wrong to one another, okay? School's, school's not a great place to be. Don't start me on that, okay? Um, coming from somebody who didn't have a great time at school, um, partly because I was just a different child and I, you just can't squeeze a square, you know, a square into a round really. It just didn't work for me at all, even though, you know, we did okay. I just really felt isolated completely all the time really through that. So we have to be honest and truthful with ourselves and look at ourselves. Um, so, you know, I've had to do work on myself, take myself right back to that time at school and done lots of forgiving, clearing, understanding, and we've got to believe that it's easy to do these things. You know, we think, oh, I can't do the work, it's too hard, too difficult. Um, but you know, that's a belief system again. Um, it can be easy to do this. It just takes, you need to just look at it from your heart, from a heart perspective, as opposed to a head perspective. We all try and work around all these, you know, problems, changes, from our head and now we have to come from our heart you know we have to come from our heart it's all about the heart and it's such an important thing we need to do that okay uh, loving self um, and actually getting on with it as well get on with it and do it okay if there's something you're not happy about now's the time to make the changes okay um, we are in the, a great position to be able to do this at the moment we have the time well most of us don't do a lot of people are still working you know we have family members that are still working still key workers out there um, who don't have the time, it's busy times for them. Um, but if you have the time, try and do this little bit of work on you and believe that it's easy to do and believe that you're gonna have the help and the support, okay, from beautiful guides, guardians and angels, you know, your higher self. You have this support all the time, I promise you that, okay. Um, so surround yourself in your guides, your angels, um, surround yourself um, with the positivity and the high frequency of your heart and your higher self 
and you will get through this, you will get through anything. Um, but these lovely cards today, these are amazing. They are really coming with a, a bit of oomph to give you some energy. They come with energy, power. Um, you're supported. You're totally supported through change, okay? You're totally understood. You're totally in the right place. You are really, really supported, okay? So do not feel you are on your own, okay? Right, well, that was a nice little card reading. I'll be back on Monday, okay? next monday i don't know what day it is i can't tell you that um but i'll be back doing another little reading okay these are wonderful cards so uh, if you don't have moldavite a lot of people don't actually have moldavite even though it's kind of more it's still out there a little bit more now um you can imagine the essence of the moldavite drawing through you breathe in a beautiful forest green deep emerald green if you if you feel like kind of changing the green a little bit, if it resonates with you. This beautiful emerald green here is gorgeous, but that's not true Moldavite colour, but it does come with a punch. Emerald is beautiful for healing and heart healing, okay? So you can breathe in through your nose, beautiful green light. Wash it through your cells, through your system. Breathe it into your body, all the way through your body, okay? And feel that beautiful energy, positivity, empowerment, strength and courage um, transformation okay breathe that in through your body so you can feel the properties of this beautiful stone okay um right okay my lovelies well i hope you enjoyed that little reading today and i will see you uh, probably monday or tuesday with a new video um and our meditations as well on thursday evenings okay so um take care have a lovely week look after yourselves keep your frequencies high okay love you lots Bye, lovelies.